Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling a crucial maintenance task for anyone with a UPS, replacing the batteries. If you have a unit like this CyberPower CP1500 PFC LCD, you know it uses two sealed lead acid or SLA batteries connected in series. Well, those batteries have a limited lifespan. I'm going to upgrade mine to a far superior technology, lithium iron phosphate, or LiPo4 and explain why I think it's the best choice for my UPS. First, let's look at the core benefits of making this swap. My old 12 volt 9 amp hour SLA batteries are reaching the end of their useful life and have begun to behave strangely. A typical SLA battery lasts about 3 to 5 years before its capacity drops. The new 12 volt 10 amp hour LiPo batteries, however, offer a massive jump in longevity. LiPo 4 batteries are rated for thousands of charge cycles, giving you a lifespan of 8 to 10 years or more. While the initial cost is higher, the extended life means a lower total cost of ownership over time since I won't need to replace them as often. Another immediate benefit is the weight. My old SLA batteries are heavy, dense bricks. These LiPo 4 replacements are a tad bit more than half the weight, making them much easier to handle and install. Finally, let's talk about power delivery. SLA batteries gradually lose voltage as they discharge, while LiPo 4 maintains a consistent flat voltage curve. This will provide a more stable and reliable power supply to my connected devices throughout a power outage. Now for the technical part. Since my UPS is already configured in a series connected setup, I simply need to replace the two old batteries with the two new ones, the real benefit comes from the improved specifications of the new batteries. I'm replacing two 9 amp hour batteries with two 10 amp hour batteries. Because they're wired in series, the voltage is doubled from 12 to 24 volts DC and is stepped up to mains voltage of 120 to 230 volts AC depending on the region by the inverter component of the UPS when switched to battery power. Meanwhile, my total battery capacity would normally stay the same if replacing with the exact same capacity batteries. However, in this situation, it increases from 9 amp hours to 10 amp hours. That means I'll get a little more runtime during a power outage. This upgrade also significantly improves the continuous output capability. The LiPo 4 batteries I'm using have a continuous discharge rating of 10 amps. The original SLA batteries likely have a lower rating. I just need to be aware to keep the total load on the UPS well within the battery's continuous output rating. This prevents the battery's safety circuit from tripping and ensures my UPS stays online. So this should be fine for my modem and other networking gear, most mid to high end gaming PCs, 3D printers like the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, or maybe critical aquarium equipment, etc. Finally, if you decide to make the upgrade yourselves, be sure that your UPS can not only accept SLA, but can also handle the swap to LiPo 4 batteries. The listing for my batteries state that they aren't compatible with UPSs above 1500 VA, which mine is not above, but right at 1500 VA, so I think I should be good. A few reviews posted claimed they work fine, so I took a chance. This is just for educational purposes only, and if you decide to do this, I'm not to be blamed. It's at your own risk. By upgrading my existing series battery setup, I'm not just swapping out the old batteries. I'm fundamentally improving the performance and lifespan of my UPS. So the first thing I'll do is unplug the UPS from the wall. You'll need a few tools such as a Phillips head screwdriver, needle nose pliers, and maybe a flat head screwdriver. Next I'll go ahead and power down the UPS. Then I'll lay this particular UPS down on its side. And proceed to unscrew the two screws underneath the front panel. Next, slide the front panel down, pulling away slightly, and carefully flip up and away being sure to mind the connected wires. Now I'll go ahead and unplug the center connector, thus disconnecting the battery, and use the pull tabs to pull the batteries out of the UPS enclosure. Then I'll need to carefully remove the pull tab from the battery assembly to reuse later. Now that the pull tab is removed, I'll carefully separate the battery slightly, just enough to get the needle nose pliers onto the connector to pull away from the battery terminals. The connectors are really on there, and this is where my flathead screwdriver will come in handy. I'll position the flathead against the connector's flat edge and push, and that seems to have worked. I'll repeat that for the other battery. Next, I'll need to connect my new LiPo 4 batteries to the same wire positions the old SLA batteries were connected to on the connector plate. This shouldn't be too hard to do as the wires not only are holding their shape, but are also within plastic guides to route the connectors to the proper battery terminals. Now that I have the batteries connected and wires tucked away, I'll reapply the pull tab sticker. Then I'll carefully insert the new battery pack into the UPS, taking note not to catch on any of the wires, and plug the battery connector back in, as well as tuck the wires away as not to be in the way when reinstalling the front panel. Now I just need to swing the front panel back down, match the tabs, slide it up into place, and reinstall the two screws. Finally, I'll stand the UPS back up, go ahead and plug its power cord back into the wall outlet, and check that everything was successful by turning it on.
And as Chit would say, success! No smoke, fire, or explosion. I have and upgraded two of these UPSs, one running on my X1 Carbon and the other on my network rack for a little over a month now, and they've been rock solid. Have you made the switch to LiPo 4 in your UPS? Let us know your experience in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to see any future videos I upload. Thanks for watching.